Hi there, today we're going to be using formulae. Formulae. A formula is a mathematical relationship or rule. Formulae is the plural of formula. Here are some common formulae found in mathematics. Pause the video to identify these formulae. The answers will be revealed in a moment. Here are the answers. Let's take a look at some examples. Here is our first example. The area of this triangle is 9 square metres. In our blue triangle we can see that the base is 2.5 metres and the perpendicular height is labelled H. In part A we want to find the value of H. To do that we first need to write the formula for the area of a triangle. The formula will be area is equal to half base height. We know that the area is equal to 9 square metres and we have the base to be 2.5. We want to find the value of h. To do that, we'll first multiply both sides by 2. On the left-hand side, we'll have 9 multiplied 2, which is 18. On the right-hand side, we'll have 2.5 multiplied by h. To find the value of h, we'll divide both sides by 2.5. On the left-hand side of the equation, we'll have 18 divided by 2.5. The right-hand side of the equation will be h. Therefore, we'll have h is equal to 18 divided by 2.5, which is 7.2 metres. Part B. Find the perimeter. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. Let's first take a look at our diagram. Here is our diagram. The diagram has the base is equal to 2.5 metres, the perpendicular height is 7.2 metres, and we are missing the value of c, which is the hypotenuse of this triangle. To find the hypotenuse, we need to use Pythagoras' theorem, which is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, where a and b are the lengths of the shorter sides. Let's substitute the shorter sides in. We'll then get c squared is equal to 2.5 squared plus 7.2 squared. To find the value of c, we want to square root the right-hand side. We will then get c is equal to 7.621. So we have c is equal to 7.6 metres correct to one decimal place. Finally, to find the perimeter of this triangle, we need to sum up all the sides. Therefore, we'll have the perimeter is equal to 17.3 metres. Here is our next example. The area of this trapezium is 200 square centimetres. Find the height. In our diagram, we have the lengths 18 centimetres, h centimetres and 32 centimetres. Let's first write the formula for a trapezium. The formula for a trapezium is a is equal to h divided by 2 multiplied by a plus b. We know that the area is going to be 200 square centimetres. We want to find out what h is equal to. Let's substitute A and B. A is 18 centimetres and B is 32 centimetres. We have 2 in the denominator. To remove the 2, we'll multiply both sides by 2. On the left-hand side, we'll have 200 multiplied by 2, which is 400. On the right-hand side, we'll have H multiplied by 18 plus 32, which is 50. To remove the 50, we'll divide both sides by 50. We'll then have 400 divided by 50. Therefore, we have h is equal to 400 divided by 50, which is 8 centimetres. Here is our last example. The circumference of this circle is 8 centimetres. We want to find the radius and the area of this circle correct to one decimal place. In part A, we want to write the formula for the circumference of a circle, which is c is equal to 2 pi r. Let's substitute circumference. Circumference is 8 centimetres. To find the value of r, we need to divide both sides by 2 pi. On the left hand side, we'll have 8 divided by 2 pi. We'll then have the radius is equal to 1.273. Therefore, we'll have the radius is equal to 1.3 centimetres correct to 1 dp. 
In part b, we want to find the area of this circle. The area formula is area is equal to pi r squared. We'll then have area is equal to pi multiplied by the radius, which is 1.3 to the power of 2. Putting this into our calculator, we'll have the area is equal to 5.309. Therefore, the area of this circle is 5.3 square centimetres. Thank you for watching this video. When you subscribe to Class Notes, you will learn more about maths and stay updated with weekly videos and learning material. Turn on your notifications today and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Until next time!